training. I'm on a treadmill. I don't prefer to do my head training on a treadmill because it's kind of unsafe. The reason why it's unsafe is if, uh, if you're going as fast as you can and all of a sudden you have to pop off like this because you wouldn't go as fast as you can and then slow down or you're not giving everything you have, especially up to 10 sets because it can really uh, drain you. So if you're gonna do any of this, I'm gonna show you this example here. You can do it on here, just not gonna go as hard or I prefer you do it uh, running up a mountain. Not straight because you can pull a hammy, but uh, some sort of resistance uphill. Anyway, the point of this is to show you right now my heart rate's 85. When this thing hits 160, I know I'm hit training. If it doesn't hit 160, 170, I'm not hit training. I'm gonna do one minute on, one minute off. One minute on, one minute off. I'm gonna show you one minute of hard running right now. Uh, 88 is my heart rate. So once again, this is just a short example of how to show you if you're hit training or not. The heart rate monitor has to see what it's going to. 90, 91. Set it to a 13. Sixty-three. First set. Six. Is that how I dismounted right there? I'm gonna show you this. I don't know if you see that. It's dropping down there into 155. Now on my hit training in the KimberlyPlan.com on the grass, you're gonna see for my age at 37 years old. that when the watch says that number, that is in the extreme training, the high intensity training. In this case, it's high intensity interval training. So you want your heart rate to go that high, drop back down for structured time, go that high, drop back down for 20 minutes. Why 20 minutes, Kimberly? Because as we talked about before in some of the other videos, it's about how long your body uh, has a sugar reserve to dumb it all up. If you have glycogen stored into your muscle, it's about how long it takes at high intensity to burn it all up. And after that point, you better slow down or you'd better stop. That's why most of your HIIT training is 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, if it's 30 minutes, it's usually with a warm up. Check out, once again, KimberlyPlan.com, the heart rate training zones, so you can know if you're accountable. And your accountable is, am I doing what's written? Am I heart rate training? Am I high intensity? Am I low enough? These are all things you can find out by simply wearing this watch. Check out the store, you can pick one up over there, and I promise you it works.